And now it's time for Houston's hottest relationship advice talk show, Love and Black with Tori and Terry. This show is sponsored in part by Gracie's on Kirby in Houston, Texas, and the Carabas Family Restaurants. And now your hosts, Tori and Terry. Hey, and welcome back to another episode of Love and Black with Tori and Terry. Hey there, everybody. It feels so good to be back, and we're thrilled that you're joining us. You yes, ready? yes. Yeah, I am ready. And we appreciate and are grateful to all you listeners out there. We take our hats off to you because, uh, you know, we get your letters and we, uh, you know, receive your calls and all. And we're just so thankful to literally have thousands of listeners who not only listen, but view the show as well on our other supporting platforms. Yes. Yes. It's an honor. It really, really is. Okay. So speaking of an honor, you guys, I got something dying to share with you. Um, Amazing news. Okay. My husband, Tori, and I have been selected and will be awarded a prestigious honor as VIPs of the MLK Community Award. And that's not all, which that right there just, you know, woohoo, big ups, right? Um, but that's not all. In addition to being appointed the 2022 Grand Co-Marshals of the MLK Parade. So we're not only receiving the MLK Award, but we'll also be Grand Co-Marshals. And we will travel in a horse-drawn carriage amongst other recipients leading the inaugural parade. So um, we're not only ecstatic, we're graciously humbled by these phenomenal opportunities. Really, really it's just it's just mind blowing. I'm so grateful. And the year is starting off with a big bang. It is, it is, it truly is. And to that end, we would like to extend a warm welcome of appreciation for SGA TV. Uh, that's our friend Sonya and her husband Bradford over there. And the entire MLK parade committee who works tirelessly to bring you guys the vet very best of the best in the memory of Dr. Martin Luther King. And from the bottom of my heart, we do. Definitely, we say thank you. Thank you so much. Also want to thank, take this time actually, to thank our um, cherished sponsors, Gracie's Restaurant, Valencia Couture, Armor of God Boutique, Black Christian Influencer, as our newest, which is Gold Coast Jewelers. So you can find them all on our social media handles, loveandblackwithtoriandterry.com. All right, all right, let's get to it. Hey, this segment is in honor of MLK Weekend. Today's topic is the man and his role as a leader. Ooh, we will return powerful. right back after this little short break with our guest in the spotlight today. Don't go away, we'll be right back. Hey, what's up, family? This is KG Smooth, and you're listening to Love and Black with Tori and Terry right here on Praise 92.1. Hey, I think we need to talk. Whenever you say we need to talk, it's always something about me. No, it's about us. Here we go again. Same-ish, different day. All right then. Are you having trouble communicating? I Forever Will Christian Marriage Counseling has helped many couples overcome these challenges and many others. Contact us today at iforeverwill.com or call us at 346-349-6441. And now back to Houston's hottest relationship advice talk show, Love and Black with Tori and Terry. This episode of Love and Black with Tori and Terry is brought to you by Gracie's Restaurant on Kirby Drive and the Carabas family of restaurants. If you would like to be a guest, sponsor, or advertise, contact us at info at loveandblackwithtoriandterry.com. Hey, and we're back. Today, we're still talking about relationships. However, we like to use our platform today to delve into the role of the man and his leadership as it relates to his mate, his home, and the world we live in. We have a, uh, two guests in the studio today. Yes. That we're going to introduce Beautiful in a second. couple. Let me just give you a little bit about him. Um, he has lived in Harris County, or they have lived in Harris County for over 48 years. As a valued employee of Northwest Harris County MUD, number 24, he was honored with a pro- proclamation from the governor of Texas and Commissioner uh, Jack Cagle. He has worked within the district for over 40 years alongside neighborhood associations and other communities. He's also demonstrated outstanding leadership in the area of financial stewardship and management. Under his leadership, not only were um, senior citizens fed free of charge for seven years, his team also sponsored hundreds of children each year. Please welcome our guest to the show, candidate for commissioner of Harris County Precinct 4, Mr. Clarence Miller and his beautiful wife, Paula. Welcome to Love and Black. Welcome, welcome, (laughs) welcome. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. I am just so excited to be on the number one show with... uh, uh, you guys. Yeah. And- <laughs> People do it all the time. With Terry and, and Tori. Yes, yes. We thank you. Thank I'm you. just really so excited, man. I've heard so much about you guys, and I've been watching you over the years, you know, 
And I kept saying to myself, you know, how do I get on this show? You know, what do I have to do? You know, you who are. I have to bribe? I got to do this. <laughs> you're here, you're here. We're so glad to have you yeah. here. So, so, okay, I do this thing, Mr. Clarence. Okay. It's, um, it's a segment that I have, and it's titled Rapid Fire. Okay. Okay, I do it with everybody. It's like a little icebreaker, so we're just going to go with it. Okay. okay. Okay? All right. And Paula, you can be his cheerleader, okay? <laughs> All right. And pay attention to me. He always interjects, don't you? Well, normally she does it with the you women, don't. so. <laughs> <laughs> All anywho. right. Okay, you ready? Yes. Here we go. Apple or Android? Android. Okay. Window or aisle? Window. Okay. Adidas or Nikes? Nikes. Coffee or cognac? Cognac. <laughs> <laughs> What's your coffee? Vanilla or chocolate? Chocolate. Breakfast club or turkey leg hut? Turkey leg. Okay. And last but not least, Martin, Malcolm, or Miller? Miller. Oh, right now. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. Good job. See, it's not so bad. It's, not it's so good bad. to have your name mentioned with the grace. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Right, right. You got to go with Miller every time. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Hey, Clarence, you've been a, a very busy man for a very long time here. And where did your leadership work begin? How did you get started? Well, uh, I have to relate back to uh, the teaching of my mom. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, I grew up in a very, um, you know, small home. It was a four-room home. It was 10 of us. Uh, and uh, we only had a living room, a kitchen, you know, and two bedrooms. Mm -hmm. And when my mom would cook, she'd always cook uh, for the neighbors and give away the food. And so growing up as a teenager, you're always hungry. And I always said, well, Mom, why you always give away our food? She said, boy, you always got to feed, feed the, you know, the poor folks. Mm -hmm. I said, Mom, in case somebody never told you, we were real poor. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you know, uh, but my mom never let me have a poor mentality. Mm -hmm. And she taught me very young on uh, the art of giving. And so it seemed like I could never run fast enough or give enough. Mm -hmm. Ooh. I enjoy giving yeah. and helping people. Uh, a lot of people are intimidated by people when they come into their circle. And maybe something's wrong with me, but I've never been intimidated by anybody. Mm -hmm. Because even no matter how rich they are, I always look at, look at ways that I can help them to get hey, richer. You, you know, know what, Clarence? Yeah. We all breathe the same air. Yeah. So. <laughs> well, yeah, so and there's I rich in character as right. well. It's not right. just monetarily. You know, right. that's the wealth of that's, a man. That's true the way wealth I look at it. We yeah. all breathe the same air. So I don't yeah. care what your position is. Right. My position is just as important. So, Absolutely. You know, um, I don't know if you recall, but this past summer, you and I, we were on a, a short panel together. Oh, I remember that. Yeah. yeah. And I was really impressed with, uh, you know, because you talk about your mother a lot and, okay. and, and your upbringing and yeah. all. Yeah. And, uh, we were talking before here and I tell you I had you know strong male role models coming up as well so um, take my hat off to you know right. your mom and right. you know those other people in your life I think you said there's a gentleman a in your life that uh, <laughs> that taught you a lot yeah you know, if I if I remember correctly so yeah. Yeah, and I was saying, I'm sorry, energy. He has his beautiful first lady here too. Oh. So there you go. She's already ready. <laughs> She's yeah, always this, is, this is my beautiful wife Paula. Um, We've been married, I guess, about nine years now. And uh, I tell you, I see why God every day now brought us together, you know, because she's just such a very talented woman, you know, and and uh, she's actually, you know, if I had to say, I, this is my campaign manager, because she runs hey, everything. Yeah, yeah. I don't, you know she what? has yeah. to help me, too, <laughs> yeah. all in the line of here, right? I, I, I asked yes, her, yes, what, what's, yes. was she your campaign manager? And she said, Dad, I'm on so many other things. <laughs> <Well, that's laughs> cheerleader, yes, motivator, yeah. encourager. She is yeah. coordinating everything for me, I and so uh, and she is so talented at it, you know. And so I'm just blessed to have her. I actually, I have a whole team of uh, individuals that volunteer for my campaign. Nice. Mm -hmm. So a uh, shout out to them. Yes, thank you, definitely. Thank you, thank you for everything that you do for my campaign. Awesome, awesome. Right on, right on. Let me. I want to ask you something. If you could describe yourself in five words. What five words would you use? Uh, visionary, uh -huh. caring, uh, worker, uh, giving, dependable. There you go. There you go. Sounds like a winning candidate to me. <laughs> 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 we, we, we talk about candidates and all, and uh, we, 
our focus is on the families. Right. And Absolutely. when we talk about uh, you know, people running for election, uh, uh, a lot of what people ask us, because like I got mentioned before, you know, before we've had uh, politicians on our show, and uh, sometimes we get calls, not calls, but letters in from uh, you know, the audience. Well, what are this person going to do? So as a leader, what, what do you think makes a, a man a good leader, especially for the position that you're running for? Uh, first of all, I don't care what position that you're running for or a position that you're in. You have to be a caring person and a person, uh, a given person. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the problems that I see with a lot of politicians, uh, they only want to take care of the rich. Mm -hmm. you know? And as a leader, especially in a position as commissioner, you represent almost uh, a million and two people. You know, so what what are you doing for the other? You sure. Know? <laughs> Million people yeah. and you're only taking care of the two. Mm -hmm. you know? And so uh, I want to be the uh, kind of commissioner that take care of all the people, you know, and not just the rich. And I have a proven track record of taking care of people, you know. Yeah. Um, if you'd like, I can share some of the things I've done. Um, I don't know if it's sure. good for this. Okay, well. I was uh, with the U.S. Postal Service, and while with the U.S. Postal Service, I was on the board of directors of the uh, credit union. Mm -hmm. And when I came in, they only had 10 million. When I left, we had 50 million. Ooh. Small business owner, real estate loan officer, insurance. When people get an 18% interest rate, I made sure I gave them you know, uh, seven, seven and a half, so they wouldn't lose their home. But for the last 16 years, I was general manager director of the utility district. Some people call it mud, dealing with water. $10 million in debt when I came in. So I hired the attorney, the tax assessor, the CPA at my kitchen table. We just built a $2.5 million wastewater plant, waste coming on the side. They say it had to cure. Didn't make sense to me, so I sued the developer. I'm the only one with the litigation, 112000 had to repair the plant. And then nobody like you and I were getting those million dollar contracts back then. So I opened it up for minority owned contracts. So they're not getting those million dollar contracts. Okay. Yeah. And I'm also responsible for about $500,000 into the only black bank in Harris County, which is Unity Bank. And if you notice, the commissioner court just decided to put five million in that bank, but I did that five years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, I convinced my mud district to deposit 240,000, but I also convinced another mud district to do the same. So that's why I'm responsible for 500,000. But within five years of being $10 million in debt, we had over $5 million. I invested in infrastructure in my community so they didn't flood. Within seven years over by Hollister and Willowbrook Mall, I built a multi-million dollar community center. And when I built that center, I created a senior citizen program. Mm, Fed awesome. them free for about eight years. Awesome. Picked up the food, cooked the food, you know, gave them black tie balls. But one of the things I discovered at the time, when I asked for, you know, donations, they gave me a turkey. So I created a 501C so I could follow the system, gave them gift cards, kept them, you know, with heaters during the winter and all. Mm -hmm. And then the senior center was dark coming home, so up and down Bama, North Houston, which is kind of not the poised area, but it's not the best. I installed lights all up and down the medium, so we lit up the area like the Galleria. And they were driving across a lot, so I bought the lot and built a road, because we only had one good road going in. Mm. And the monument was five years old, so I built them a brand new monument. And now we're building $3.7 million park. Now, what's so significant about all that is that we did all that without raising taxes and taking out bonds. We cut the governmental waste, held the contractors accountable. And that's what I'm going to do as commissioner because one of the things I've discovered in my 48 years dealing with government, there's a lot of waste. Lot you just have to be willing to go in and cut that waste, waste okay? Yeah. And you're, you're doing all this not being a politician. Yes, right, that's so imagine. Right. Not being a politician. I promise you, uh, running for a commissioner was nothing I ever thought about in my entire life. When the current commissioner won in 2018, and you got to believe, I was shaking the man's hand, congratulating him sincerely because we went to the same cigar bar. Mm -hmm. I don't smoke anymore, but, and as I was shaking his hand, the spirit was so intense it told me to run for his office. Wow. I looked around because the spirit had to be talking to somebody <laughs> like me, but I'm not the one. <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't even know what a commissioner did. I had to go back to my office and Google him and Google the qualifications. It said 18 raised to vote. I said, well, I'm qualified. Nah. And then when I looked at all the things I've done over the years, you know, being on the utility district, I set the tax rate. Mm -hmm. I dealt with attorneys, CPAs, you know, accountants, engineers, built roads and parks. 
That's what a commission does, okay? Mm -hmm. So God has uniquely been qualified oh, yes. to do this job for the last 16 years. Yeah. He right? will do that. Yeah. He will do that. A steward is a steward. A leader yes. is a leader. You're yes. born that way. Mm -hmm. You're mm -hmm. born leader. Yeah. You're already in your role before you're yeah. appointed. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Exactly. And people ask me, they say, well, you know, uh, do you have any endorsements? I tell them, I say, you know, the day God commanded me for this position, he endorsed me. So I have the number one endorsement. So I don't care what other, what other <laughs> people endorse somebody else. That's their business, you know. But I got the number one endorsement, you know. Yeah. And so yeah. I've been out here campaigning since 2018 because God also commanded me to start early. And, you know, I thought I was crazy. People called me crazy, but now I understand so I have some opposition out there, but it ain't going to be nothing because I've been out here since 2018 getting my message out. It, it, you know, Clarence, I, just, I told someone this last night or yesterday evening, rather, and we were talking about, you know, them having a vision right. and all. And they were talking about how people will post his vision and things. And I said, you know what? Don't be discouraged because. Right. Right. God gave you that vision. Right. Oh, yeah. He didn't give right. it to them. Exactly. So right. they can't see exactly. it right. like you can. That's right. Right. So right. just like when he sent the 70 out and he said, man, if right. they don't want to listen, right. just take the dust off your shoes and keep right. it moving. Right. That's what I'm telling you. Right. You, know, you already have the mindset. Absolutely. And you already have the know-how because mm -hmm. you've been doing this. Mm -hmm. yeah. All this is a new, it's a title. Absolutely. So congratulate you on those things that you've already Absolutely. done. And keep and doing it. Yeah. Congratulate you for those things that you will do when you win. Like <laughs> Mr. Amen. Speak it into <laughs> yes, yes, yes. You know, yes. I, I want to share. Um, I ran, I was asked to run in my district in 2005 mm -hmm. in California for board trustee. Sure. Um, and actually, I was like, I don't know, like 75 people. You know, yeah. and end up getting the top vote getter of okay. all time and the first African American female. So I'm saying that to say, and I didn't speak from cue cards, I spoke from the heart. Just right. like you spoke just a mm -hmm. moment ago, you didn't have little index cards you were flipping, you just spoke from the heart. Right. Right. Because you, and you recall everything because each of it required heart. Right. Mm -hmm. And that's what, it was your heart and your integrity. And that's what we're talking about today about these born leaders, right? Yes. Yes. And so with that being said, I know. That was nobody but God. And so if God told you to do right. something, he will That's equip right. you where he takes you. Yes, that is will. definitely yes, right. Yes, he will. So um, yes. I have a question for you, Miss Paula. Let me ask you something. <laughs> this is your husband. Yes. Not only he's a man, he's a he's a human being, okay? Mm -hmm. Not just a candidate. He's definitely not a politician. Right. But he is your husband. He is right. the father. He is the grandfather. Mm -hmm. He is love and reverence. Mm -hmm. A man wants respect. A woman wants security. What would you say are the characteristics that you believe that he upholds at home that is really going to work for him in the community? Hmm. I would say the characteristics that will uphold in the community just as well as what they're upholding in our home, I would say this is honesty. Honesty, um, sincere, mm -hmm. open-hearted, willing to listen. Mm -hmm. um, that's definitely good. a visionary because in our home he talks about all the things that he wants to do and i look at what he wants to do and i look at all the things that he's already done so he's definitely a visionary and he is a true leader I love it. and not Can't only being just a, a leader uh he doesn't just lead he assists if he give you something to do or ask you to do something he's going to walk that walk with you mm -hmm. he's not just going to give it to you and tell you hey take this and go and do it He's going to give it to you and he's going to assist you along the route to make sure that it's done correctly. Awesome. And that it, those are some of the things that I love about him as a husband. And I know uh, being a commissioner, he is going to do those same exact things plus more. I love it. And that's leadership. That's true. Because yes. that's exemplary. Yeah. That's exemplary. So I love it. I love it. Great job. Baby, I'm going to give you the credit card when we leave. <laughs> 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 I know, I was waiting for a second. Is that right? <laughs> I love it. <laughs> And, and <laughs> I, I have a follow-up question there. In honor of Dr. Martin Luther King and the late Sidney Poirier, God rest his soul, yes. uh, what qualities of theirs did you admire that um, will help you pay forward and simplify you know, the uh, role of commissioner? Well, uh, Dr. Martin Luther King, Luther King had a uh, gift of patience. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I admire that uh, of him. And I pray that I can be as, as patient as he was, okay? And of course, he was also dedicated and a true leader. 
And I love the man's voice, you know, mm-hmm. just to oh, hear yes. him speak. He was a true Kelly. motivator, you know. I inspired millions of people. And Cindy Portier, you know, of course, you know, I grew up in that area. Yeah. And uh, he was just uh, uh, on the cutting edge. Uh, even today, if he produced a movie, I'd be one of the first ones there, you know, because the man, you know, he unzipified dignity and class, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. And so uh, I hope that uh, I have some of those characteristics. Yeah. You know, I, I think back to, to my favorite movie of his. I love There's Uptown so Saturday Night and all, but mine was the, in the heat of the night. Right. Mm. When that uh, when that white guy had slapped him, and he slapped him right <laughs> he back. Right. Right. I think back. I was like, <laughs> did you see that? <laughs> yeah, I saw it. Yeah, what you gonna do about it? Yes, I don't yes. know you. Yeah. <laughs> so they had never seen anything like that, right. you know. Yeah. And uh, and those, you know, with that movie, and then with uh, Guess Who's Coming to Dinner. That was mm. I mean, that you was know, oh, he yeah. really, you know, if he wasn't like that in real life, yeah. you know, you saw that character on screen, and you were like, "That's who I want to be like." Pioneer. Yeah. yeah. And so he was a pioneer of it, and he was showing people, hey, you know, this is who we are as a people. We're strong and resilient, right? right? And we shouldn't take any mess from anyone, no matter what your color is. You know, one of my favorite lines from um, Guess Who's Coming to Dinner, because that was very powerful, was when he was talking to his father, who was a postal carrier, Mm -hmm. was a retired postal carrier. And he told him, he said, you see yourself as a black man. I see myself as a black man. And I mean, for me as a kid, when I watched that, I was just like, this is powerful. I was probably sucking my thumb or something. You know, I was just like, wow, it really yes. kept it. I mean, it was captivating, yes. you yes. know, to hear him say that because nobody really thought in terms of like that, you mm-hmm. know? Yeah. So, um, yes, um, I do want to say this as a couple looking at you two, there's a regal elegance to both of you. And I noticed that when I first met you. and. It fits because that regal elegance, and especially when we talk about Martin Luther King, we talk about mm-hmm. Sidney Poitier, that exemplifies the grace under pressure. Mm-hmm. So continue to walk in that honor. We can see the light all over you, too. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Yes, yes. I tell you, it's just a gift just being here with you guys. Uh, you're on the cutting edge, number one show. And I, I just love that, you know, you're married, you know, and you exemplify what marriage should be, you know. And so I just love that. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. And, you, you know, we hear it a lot. And we thank you guys. That's thank what you. I was saying yeah. in the intro. Yeah. Like, uh, you know, because <laughs> we get the phone calls. We get the emails mm-hmm. and, and all. And it's, it's one thing, one word people use with, when describing us a lot. And it's chemistry. Everyone mm. and never met us before. They always say, "Oh, I love your chemistry on set. Right. I love your chemistry on there, air." Yeah, there's yeah. that, and then there's another one that people tell us that I find interesting, and that is, you guys are the same all the time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you guys are always the same. You know, it's consistent. So, right. amen. Mm-hmm. Yeah, amen. Yeah. Hey, we're talking with Commissioner. Yes, I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it. I'm going to back you up. I'm backing you up. <laughs> Clarence Miller. <laughs> say, I was getting ready to say what the young know, lady, but I'm just going to put say. it in the atmosphere. That's right. That's right. Just like God said, let there be. Speak. Yes. Commissioner elect Clarence Miller and yes. his lovely wife, Paula. Yes. And we are going to commercial, but we will be right back. With the letter of the day, y'all don't go away. Well, hello, everybody. As you know, in Harris County, We have good judges, attorneys, state representatives. But to be commissioner, you must have knowledge about the infrastructure, which are our roads, parks, flooding, potholes. Please support Clarence Miller for Commissioner, Harris County Precinct 4, by going to my website for commissioner.com, millerforcommissioner.com, and donating. Thank you. Hey, and welcome back. <laughs> hey, before we went to commercial, we were talking with our good friends here, Clarence and Paula Miller. And we were, uh, those of you that don't know, now you do know, he's running for Commission. county commissioner for precinct four. And um, I just wanted to, you know, before we go to our letter of the day, just do a follow up. Is there anything else that you guys would like to share? What would you want to share with the people? Well, I'd like to everybody to know that, uh, in case you don't know, we went to a redistricting. And so everything that was in precinct three is in precinct four, nine, everything pretty much that was in three is in four, they swapped. 
for instance, Precinct 4 is the precinct that I am currently running for. It basically starts off of 290, pretty much all of Katy. It runs past the Galleria, Bissonette, Bel Air, part of the Heights, up near New York, uh, Kirby Drive, okay? So if you go to my website, Miller for Commissioner, we actually have a list of zip codes on there that uh, you can look at that zip code. You know that you can actually vote. Early voting is February the 14th through the 27th, and election day is March 1st. And we were talking with my wife and uh, Tori and Terry a few minutes ago, and we were talking about people that had been incarcerated. If you've been incarcerated, and I'm told, and you serve your time, tell them about it, Paula. You are able to vote. Yes. It's just a matter of being educated. Uh, and they will tell you that you can't vote. But what you need to do is talk to uh, your senator, either your, I would say, your current uh, city leaders, and talk to them and tell them that you want to vote. And they should be able to assist you in getting registered to vote. That's awesome because yes. so many people yes. are. I don't want to say the, that, this particular word, but so many people are unaware yeah. that they are not able to uh, vote, and they, in fact, they are. And that's so, what this show is for. We create awareness on every yeah. area that we can. So, and even though we're a relationship show, this involves relationships because it affects the families. Okay? Our lives. It's so our lives. Let's go to the letter of the day. And uh, Here we go, with yeah. the letter of the day, um, it, it's. Let's, let me just get into it. Yeah. Bye. Dear Tori and Terry, Happy New Year. Praying you had a nice holiday time with your family. I want to also thank you for choosing my letter. My boyfriend proposed to me on Christmas Eve with all of our family. It was emotional as we have been dating off and on for five years. We were both away at college. We have graduated and secured our individual careers that are pretty lucrative in salary. He's a Morehouse man. <laughs> I'm sorry, I threw that part in. He's a Morehouse <laughs> <was> graduate. <laughs> <laughs> and I am a proud alumni of HU, Howard University. And uh, for those of you on, in, in Maryland, you know, already know the real HU. <laughs> anyway, my now fiance not only proposed, but he popped a question asking me to move in with him Ooh. as he has decided to run for city council of his hometown. I am oh. very much in love with him, but not open to a new marriage and campaigning at the same time. Mm -hmm. Both are a huge task. When I try to explain my position, he thinks I am overreacting and fearful. It's taken away the attention from me as the bride. I want to support him and be a loving spouse. Please, how do I manage, please advise how to manage our situation for the best overall outcome. Uh -oh. Hmm. Um, okay. Well, I, yeah, I'm going to add. All right. For the sake of time, one answer. Okay. <laughs> one, one answer. I, you know what? Sit down and tell him exactly how you feel and just break it down to him just like you did to us. And it's not about, you know, this is going to take attention away from you as the bride. Map it out. But I do want to hear prayer. I haven't heard anything about prayer. I'm just saying. I agree. I think the first thing uh, should be done is they need to pray about it. Mm -hmm. Give it to God. Let him lead you and guide you in the direction that you should go. And just just go that route. Yeah. Well, first and foremost, the man isn't always supposed to be the head of the household. So if you're going to marry the man, you must let him be head of the household. Mm -hmm. And then you need to support him. So if you're not ready to fully support, then don't get married. Oh, Very interesting answer. Yes. Mm. And you know what? Marriage nor campaigning is for the weak or the faint of heart. Yeah, exactly. So True. be sure you're sure in all areas. Yeah. Exactly. Both of you. And one of the things you really have to do is be in accordance with or in step with each other. Right. And I say that from scripture, Amos 3 and 3, can two walk together mm -hmm. at least they agree. And the thing is, is that you're not on the same page right, right now. Right. So you need to have, like my wife said and everyone else said about prayer, you need yes. to pray on this, you need to talk to each other, you need to weigh the, um, you know, what's going on here. You know, how is it beneficial to your upcoming marriage? How is it not? Weigh those options, weigh those things. Keep in mind though, if this is his passion, is this something he's interested in, you're really gonna have to, uh, you know, get counseling on this and have someone be a mediator so both of you guys can hear each other. Yes, right. for sure. Absolutely. I agree. 
Great right. show. Amen, amen. We hope that you found our show helpful today in all areas, from your choices when it comes to the leaders in your town to even the leadership that you exemplify in your home. Visit us on our platforms, and you can like and subscribe. But to view this particular episode and others, you'll find us at you, our YouTube channel, which is Love and Black with Tori and Terry. And don't forget, you can always contact us for your marital relationships and individual counseling at ifeverwell.com. We'll see you next week right here on Pre- Praise 92.1 and 102.1 HD2. We love y'all. Make love y'all, not war. This episode of Love and Black with Tori and Terry is brought to you by Gracie's Restaurant on Kirby Drive and the Carabas family of restaurants. If you would like to be a guest, sponsor, or advertise, contact us at info at loveandblackwithtoriandterry.com. 